Hey, you'll be doing all the driving for this one. Here, take the keys and I'll be on the radio. Fair warning, I've got loads to tell you, but I promise it'll be worth it. Right, so the 80s were known as the Blackpool's era because the previous red line tyres with a red pin stripe were discontinued in 1977. Then there were hot ones with thinner axles, ultra hot with a new wheel design, real riders with actual rubber tyres, those were pretty popular. Let me think, you've got crack ups with damaged panels, colour shifters that changed in water, oh and you know the blue car blister packs you can recognise from across the store, they started in the 80s too. into series and brought in numbering and limited editions. Collecting Hot Wheels has gone from a hobby to a full-on obsession. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. era, Mattel bought Tyco Toys in 97, makers of the Matchbox brand of toy cars. This brought all the miniature toy cars under one big roof. I've set you up with a rip rod for this one. Off-road series 2014, code BD00. One of the new lines Hot Wheels created was called the Treasure Hunt series. Limited production, super collectible. Obviously, we can't go into a toy store or convention floor, so I'll simulate the experience with some treasure chests. Go find that treasure! Collect them all!
there too, Jet Z. Now you know what it's like to be a proper Hot Wheels collector. Exhausting, right? Yeah. Worth it, though. Time to finish our Hot Wheels documentary. Meet me here. I've always had a soft spot for the bone shaker. It's like an antique you can drive around in. Let's go. Oh, oh, did I tell you about the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary back in 2018? No, but I have a feeling you're about to. They did a sweet black and gold series with matching livery and a whole collection of other 50th anniversary inspired cars throughout the line. They also started the Hot Wheels Legends Tour Custom car builders compete to show off their best designs. Then Hot Wheels picks the best one and makes it into a 1 to 64 scale toy. That's how we ended up with the two Jet Z, Nash Metropolitan and Custom Trans Am. Sometimes the opposite happens where a toy car gets scaled up into a real one. Hot Wheels have made more than 20 full-scale cars and used them to break three world records with actual corkscrew jumps and double loops. <laughs> it's wild. the 2000s, loads of amazing designers had worked on Hot Wheels. Mark Jones, Phil Reelman, Brendan Batuski, Fraser Campbell, I could go on and on. Between them, they made loads of creative casting designs. There were lines like the Toon, Hard Nose, Cruise, Fat Bats, Torpedoes, and the Drop Top series, and the Realistic series, if that was your jam. but a little bar of expertise won't go astray. The Baja Bone Shaker is a modern take on the classic bone shaker design. Hot Wheels have done heaps of cool stuff outside of model cars as well. You mean apart from the Horizon Festival? Exactly! There was an animated movie in 2003, a TV series called Hot Wheels Accelerators in 2005, and tons of video games going all the way back to an 8-bit version in 1984. Oh, those were the days. And get this, back in 2014, they hooked up with the University of Southern California to develop pedometry, an educational curriculum to teach kids science and maths. Seriously? 
I know. And there's me, stuck in a university lecture on advanced analytics with no toy cars or anything. So unfair. there's been 20,000 different designs and at least 8 billion cars have been made. Impressive, right? But the rare cars are still worth a lot at auction. An ultra-rare prototype of the 1969 Volkswagen Beach Bomb sold for $72,000 and some collections are estimated to be worth over a million dollars. In the early 2000s, several collector conventions began to spring up around the world where fans can meet up to buy or sell cars, show off their collections, or just talk about their hobby. Nice. Now the Baja Bone Shaker's ground clearance is pretty good, but monster truck bone shaker. Amazing, right? <laughs> Climb in and let's do this. I figured we could finish the documentary in style with an epic stunt run in this beast. Don't ask how we got it up here. Very nice. We'll make a hot wheels pro of you yet. So, what fun facts have you got on this thing? Can we do epic stunts now and do back later, please? Okay, okay, fine. In 2018, Hot Wheels launched its Hot Wheels Monster Trucks toy line, and an exciting live event came a year later. This line has both amazing original designs and Monster Truck versions of classics like the Bone Shaker and Twin Mill. It's not the same without the flames!
we go. I think we've got all the material needed for the documentary. Thanks for your help. Look for your name in the credits when it's done. Your royalty check will be in the post. Of course. See you around.